Hey you guys, um, this video is actually made to help you understand how to maneuver around in Google Classroom. So I'm using first period English as an example. So you have what's called a stream. All of your assignments will come to your stream. Your stream looks a little bit different than mine in that when I post a new assignment, you're not going to see what I see. I see the document here. I see how many people started in, how many I've assigned it to. What you're going to see is where it says Julie Phelan posted a new assignment and then it's going to give the assignment name. Okay, this particular assignment is student workbook page, I believe it was 34 and it's due tomorrow. Um, so what you would do is you would click in to that assignment and you're not going to see this either. But you're going to see a page that looks similar to this and you're going to see a document that I've already created. Sometimes I'll create the document for you. Sometimes I'll ask you to create the document yourself. So today I've created the document for you. So all you have to do is click on that and do the assignment in that particular document. So for this assignment, I have um, stated that you don't have to um, write the questions out of the book. You simply have to write the answers, okay? Make sure that you do all of what the assignment asks you to do if you want complete points, because I do um, grade these assignments for accuracy. Okay. So if I go back into my stream, I just push English one up here. I also have agendas for each day. They'll pop up right before class starts. Uh, this is the one for today. This will tell you uh, what you need for the day. So today that you needed computers, workbooks, pens, pencils. Uh, we haven't been using those a whole lot in here. We've been trying to do mostly online um, work. Um, it's easier to grade um, and we don't have to worry about um, uh, wasting a lot of paper. So every day we have a bell work assignment and once a week I create a document where you put your bell work. So the very first thing that you need to do when you come in in the morning, and I didn't put it in this um, assignment. I'm going to go ahead and edit this because this is something that first period has to do every day. Um, if you're looking at this in a different period, then you would not do that, do this. But this is your COVID sign in. And I have a student who's going to try to remind me each day to make sure that I change the date on that so that you guys won't forget to do that each day. Okay, so I'll save that and we'll go back. So what I want you to do is I want you to copy the bell work for the day. Control C will copy and then you're going to go to the bell work for the week. So you would go to classwork, go to the document, go down to bell work for the week, click on it, click on, yours is going to look a bit, little bit different. I think your document is going to be right up here in the top right. Um, that's where you turn it in. You won't turn in your bell work until Fridays, okay? Um, even if you don't turn it in, if you're absent on Friday, I can still see that. Um, I will add as well, even when you're absent, you're still responsible for your bell work. So you need to go back. It usually doesn't take very long. So usually on the day back, you can do your bell work from the previous day plus your bell work for that day. And then you're, and then you're good. So you're going to put the date, today's the 15th, and you're going to cop or you're going to paste your bell work into there, okay? So then you're going to define connotation and denotation. Uh, you can either use Google to look up 
these definitions or you can use your book. They're in your book on page 34. There is uh, the definitions for connotation and denotation that we'll be, we'll be using for the sake of this class, okay? So you'll define those and you're finished with your bell work for the day. You can X out of that. And then here you are back into your classwork section. Okay. Now, um, if you're new, um, you will need to go in and take the USA test prep quiz. Okay. So you'll need to go into the member login page. You can sign in with Google. You should already have your assessment that is related to your account. It will say English 10. Uh, yours may have a big old list that says all kinds of USA test prep uh, assessments. Okay, go to the one that says 1 English 10 and it has my name on it. And my name is right up here, Julie Phelan. Okay, so you're going to click on that one and you're going to take that assessment. All right. So let's go back to the last page. And so that's the first thing that you need to do. You also need to go in and make sure that you're signed up for the online student edition of the Pearson workbook. So I may have to help you with that, get you set up in there. Um, if you can't get in there, you should be able to, you should be able to do the same thing. You should be able to click on the student edition, sign in using your Google account, and then go through and look at the materials that are available to you. All the stories that are in your student workbook are also available to you in the online student edition. It takes a little bit to learn how to maneuver that, but uh, once you get it, it's, it's not that hard, okay? Just make sure that you're in the English 10. Um, there are two different um, resources in there for you. So you'll actually go to the online assessment test textbook and um, not the 6 through 12 uh, edition, okay? All your classwork and homework will be under the classwork section, okay? These are the things that we have done so far. Um, we've read an introductory essay and written a summary over that, uh, which is in your book on page 6 and 7. Um, you're not responsible for that at this point. Um, however, um, I may have, have you go back and read those. Um, uh, everything that we do in here is material that's building on each, each thing. Um, that particular essay is a model essay for one that you will write at the end of the unit. So it may be very important that you actually read that and understand the elements that go along with an explanatory essay with a narrative embedded in it. Also, pages 31 through 33 deal with the story, The Fall of the House of Usher. Uh, I will have you at some point go back and read that story. It's pretty good. It's by Edgar Allan Poe. He's one of my favorite authors, so I get really excited when I talk about Edgar Allan Poe. Anyway, um, those were the assignments that are attached to that. Um, here is the fall of the House of Usher link. So this should take you straight to the story and you could actually, it has an option to listen to the story. So um, you don't actually have to read it, you can listen to it. Um, this is uh, a worksheet that's scheduled for uh, the 18th, which you can't see yet, um, only I can see that. Um, and then, of course, here is the assignment that uh, we did in class today. Okay. Um, 
all video explanations from 9-1 on are right here. If you would like to go back and view those, uh, feel free. Um, I don't like to see myself on video, so anyway. Um, also, the parent contact form, if you will fill this out, uh, you can just fill this out online and turn that in to me. Um, and I can give you, um, I, I don't know if I can go back and give you a grade for that, but I would like to have some parental contact information. Um, obviously, your COVID daily sign-ins, you can also find those right here, okay? Um, bell works, all the bell work assignments from the very first week are posted. Um, I post them at the beginning of the week and they have the documents that you need there. I hope this helps. Um, graphic organizers, here's a, a graphic organizer on how to write a summary. Um, you can use it. I didn't, this is just a resource. Um, any kind of graphic organizers that will help you organize material output in that section. Okay. Um, I will also have you star test. The link to that is not in here, um, but we will need a star reading score for you. So we'll plan a day where you can go to the library and take your star, star test. Okay. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and a great experience at Truman. Um, if you're new, if you're not new and you're just watching this for the sake of watching this so that you can maneuver around Google Classroom better, um, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you need me at all, please feel free to email me. I'm always here for you. Okay. Have a wonderful day.